Welcome back to Farm Sim, everybody. We're back on Court Farms. We're in chat with Raptor as well. Um, we're off to do a contract, which will probably be time lapsed. Um, there's been a lot going on since the last time I had you guys here. I finished up uh, all of our grass bales, wrapped them. They're fermenting into silage right now. They're almost done, about 70%. Uh, and we get a big addition in the yard. Well, let's get to it. So the plan of <clears throat> using this yard for storage kind of went out the window. I sowed this with wheat. And the reason for that was this little grass field down here that there wasn't a lot of grass in has been kind of slightly converted, not yet. I haven't done all the ground texturing yet because we have a chicken coop here with chickens in it, which we haven't been able to feed yet, so I probably shouldn't have put them in there quite yet. Uh, we've got our greenhouse over here growing strawberries. <clears throat> we've got our windmill producing flour. And we've got our bakery here. We need to put a dairy in over here as well because we're going to need milk and other things to make uh, cake and bread because this this uh, bakery is slightly different where when it comes to making bread they want wheat, sugar, water, milk, and eggs. And then obviously for the cake we need even more. We need butter, chocolate, etc, etc, etc. But yeah, we're making flour at that windmill and our bakery's here. We have our strawberries here and our chickens there. So this yard's going to get converted uh, eventually to be like a, a yard. And not, and not just like a little grass field that we only got like three or four bales out of. Anyway. Where are we heading anyway? Oh, we're going that way. Is it better to go down? It's better to go this way. Except for trying to make it past these cement trucks. If, if I meet them here, I can kind of go into the bushes. If I meet them in the city, I'm kind of in trouble. Less screwed.
contract. We got a little bit of corn out of it. We got about 2,300 liters. A little less than I was hoping for, but we can still use it. The money for the harvesting contracts is not great in my opinion. But, once again, we can use this corn. We'll make a little bit of flour out of it and make some pig food. Use what we can. Combine's back at the yard filling up. We're going to get this back. Let's see what else we can get into. And during our time lapse, I'm sure most of you saw it, but Raptor was kind enough to bring us over about 9,000 liters of TMR, <clears throat> get us started on possibly just a few cows. I'm not sure when our grass is going to be growing again enough to cut. You think we're going to get another cut before winter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, should? we should do. Hope so. Did you harvest the last month? If you harvest the last month, we should definitely cut. Yeah. Even if it's a light cut. I think it was Even the last a... month. I can't remember Even if it was, it was the very cut. first day of October or the last month prior. Did but you we'll cut see. it like when we first started? Mm -mm -mm. So you haven't cut that grass at all? No, I've cut it. It's already that's that salad bales I'm waiting on right now. But you cut it in October. Mm -hmm, I yeah. think so. So so like so you might not get it. You might not, you know. So what we I should will. do is tear up my grass field and get it I wouldn't fixed tear it now. Out. Well, it needs to be <clears throat> plowed and all that to get maximum yield out of it, if you know what I mean? Yeah, well, we're definitely getting another cut mm. on two fields. So, I mean, if you do get cows and you need some feed, we'll give you some feed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Plus we've got done. thirty something silage bales already socked up. Mm. I think that's probably where I'm around. I don't quite remember. Could yeah. sell some of that depending on the price rate. We could sell. We could sell like half of that if we know that we're getting another cut. We could. Just want to make sure we do get that other cut first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely, hundred percent agree with you on that one. But the next cut, one field will be uh, hay. Because we need hay mm -hmm. for the sheep and goats. Yes, sir. And the counts. God, the mud getting out of that section is brutal. We will head down here to our little grain ball and drop off this little corn we got. Can you use corn in our grain mill? Um, this one I can. It gives me uh, some flour and some pig food. Gives you sunflower from no, corn. No, no, no. It gives some, me it gives me um, some um, flour and um, some, some, some pig food. No, that would be insane. So Interesting, what kind but of insane. Grain yeah. is that? What is this? Con converting. This is Damon. <laughs> We got a little bit of flour and a little bit of big food in there. It's not spitting out a lot of big food. But if we stuck it up for a long time, we should be able to uh, stockpile at least some big food. And once we get these bales out of here, we'll probably convert this yard to look more 
commercial than like a grass field with some productions in it. <laughs> you okay? Yep. <laughs> what have you done? Fucking hit this map language. Are you in a ditch again? Nope. Are you sure? Yep. Not anymore. <laughs> is this done feeling? Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm not used to the map yet. So when I came out of the turn for hours rather than turning right rap, the when you come out on the mm. main road, I went left and I headed towards Lufkins and I was like, do 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 do, and then it all started to turn orange on the thing. And I was like, why is it turning orange? Why am I going that way? And I looked at the map, really. Mm. Do you already have the bell pickup? Hey, that's what I'm waiting to get now. I'm not going to. But I'll drop the bailer off. Yeah. One thing we need to do is go get some chicken food. That was something I thought we were going to do on ours, but I think sheep and cows are plenty. Oh. If we add in chickens, we'll have to change up the crop rotation. I just don't want to do that. Right. Until we get other fields up. Yeah. That one's even more. Give them sorghum. That's cheap. Thousand, thousand for a thousand. Fifteen hundred. No, I'm not paying that. fine with that because that'll get us who that's a lot of chicken feed but it's actually not badly priced because if we got eight bags of chicken feed previously it was like eleven thousand versus like seven thousand so I'm fine with that All right, let's cough up the big bucks for that sadly uh, let's go pick up that chicken feed because we gotta feed them. Oh, yeah. Springtime, once this wheat pops up, we won't be worried about uh, feeding them because all that weed space needs to go right to them. Our male Angus beef cow has already almost double what we bought him for. Not bad. Uh, nice. The females aren't, but.
That bail pickup, Daz, does it have white on it or black? Yep. White, man. It has white? Yep. Okay, good. Which means I can make these two forts. Get on your side. side. No. I'm on. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> What's happening? He's on the wrong side of the road, screaming to me that I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> <clears throat> you gotta get your uh, helper in check. <laughs> Can't control him. Seriously. <laughs> I really hope I can fill with these without having to get a forklift. Nope, can't. Perfect. Don't you have a forklift sitting there? I did. I wasn't really using it, so I gave it back. Ah, uh, just need a rental lift. Please give me the cheapest lift y'all got. Yeah. Okay. Unless I can't dump these in a trailer, then I'm gonna be real mad. It's just too funny. Both of you screamed at each other at the same mm. time. Mm. The funniest part was him yelling at me, wrong side of the road, and I'm going, <laughs> no. <laughs> and then the dude that realizes the amount of traffic that was behind you. Mm -hmm. I moved out of his way, and then all of a sudden there was two cars behind me, probably staring at him like, what are you doing? <laughs>
Oh, this forklift gets real tippy. You can do doubles on. <gasps> can you? You can, if you're really gentle with it. Because I had two crates that were double stacked, so I technically had four crates. Okay, so we got the rest of our food. Obviously, you guys, you guys saw the chicken trough is full. Uh, we're just going to get this back to the yard and dump it in the silo and be done for the day since the sun's starting to go down. Hopefully, we won't see Darren on the road on the way back. Hopefully this chicken feed will last a little bit longer than we were thinking then. If the trough only holds 9,000. Where are we at? Uh, the yard. <laughs> Just mixed up some more cow food. Nice. How much we got now? Uh, once a well, I mean, their pen was sitting at fifty something thousand. Oh, right there. Guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you for hanging out with us. We'll see you in the next episode.